Hello and welcome to another IELTS essay discussion. This is writing task 1 for IELTS academic. Uh, we'll be discussing how to first look at a picture, how to look at a bar chart, a line chart, a pie chart, or a table. There are no standard set of rules that you need to follow. The only rule here is to observe carefully. Observe carefully, look at the chart for about two to three minutes, mark the important points in the question as well as in the pictures given before writing an answer. This is absolutely essential since I've, student make, I've seen students making a number of mistakes just related to the information given in the question. So let us first go through it. You have two pictures. Number one is a pie chart. And it's mentioned over here the pie chart below shows and another is a table and the table is here the pie chart below shows the main reasons why agricultural land becomes less productive now let us look at the pie chart shown in the picture before proceeding to the table so instead of main reasons the examiner the question uh, talks about causes um, why agricultural land becomes less productive less productive is changed to land degradation and this is for the whole world the table shows the how these causes affect three regions of the world during the 1990s now the same causes what are the causes the main reasons are or the main causes are number one deforestation number two over cultivation number three over grazing and finally number four others let us proceed uh, before proceeding let us eliminate the other dimension so the examiner the question itself picks only three dimensions dimension number one dimension number two and three and they're reflected over here one two and three now this is for the whole world this is for the three regions region number one North America, region number two, Europe, and region number three, Oceania. Remember, it's absolutely important to note that the all the units are, all the numbers are in percentage. So the units are in percentage. The, the uh, unit is not hectares or acres, it's the percentage. And you, your answer must um use the word you must use this word percentage or proportion percentage or proportion in your response it's absolutely essential so you have three regions and finally the total so once you have observed this information you are ready to proceed with the answer now your first body paragraph, I'm not going to discuss the introduction or the overall portion. Your first paragraph should be about the first picture, which is a pie chart. Now here the point worth mentioning is the order in which things are proceeding. The highest proportion is that of overgrazing. And you have to keep in mind the main reasons. There are numerous other causes but you have to write that what are the main causes or the main reasons behind land degradation. Uh, agricultural land degradation, if you want to add the word agricultural over here. Okay, so the order is that there's overgrazing, which is more than deforestation, which is more than overcultivation. So mark this during um, your brainstorming part and do not write the answers right away. Just first collect the trends, the main features, the comparisons before writing the answer. So here, all I can see in pie chart is that for the worldwide uh, agricultural land degradation, the order is one, two, and three. Now, as far as, let me change the color. Now, as far as the table is concerned, let me use the green one. As far as the table is concerned, it is always better to move in two dimensions. Dimension one is horizontally, dimension two is vertically. So can you see any major main features, major trends in these two dimensions? Let us proceed. So first, let us proceed horizontally. 
region 1 North America can you see something in this row um, let us leave the total land degraded for the moment let us look at the first three columns so yes the most of the destruction of agricultural land is caused by over cultivation um, though globally it is over grazing in North America the main reason is over cultivation in Europe uh, it's I guess deforestation yeah this is deforestation which is the main reason and in Oceania gain moving horizontally it's over grazing so you have to mark the main um, causes of the the contributing causes that led lead to uh, destruction of land you can also note the minimum however that's not mandatory you have to find the most important ones um, with the exception of a zero that there is absolutely no over cultivation in Oceania it makes no contribution as deforestation is negligible in North America so these are a few things that you can note horizontally let us go vertically uh, it does not make any sense to go through deforestation over cultivation and over grazing vertically since we have already have total degraded land and uh, it's always advisable to restrict yourself to trends not go in much into numbers so um, there's a trend there's a trend that Europe has about 23 percent of its area degraded this is followed by Oceania and proportionately and uh, the least area which is degraded is in North America so you can um, give this sequence give this sequence of percentage land degradation this is not absolute number this is a percentage so you have to keep that thing in mind as well now one final advice before I close this answer remember IELTS does not want you to speak numbers. I've seen students who simply write that uh, in Europe deforestation contributes 9.8% of total land degradation, over cultivation causes 7.7%, over grazing causes 5.5%. Um, don't do that. IELTS people do not want you to state numbers. They are pretty smart to read the numbers themselves, so don't do that. You are here to give uh, select and report it's clearly written main features and make comparisons where relevant so you have to just find out main features um, you can sprinkle numbers like icing on the cake there is no need uh, to specifically mention each number um, you have to focus on the trends on the main features these sequences these orders the order of things this is also a trend, a main feature, a sequence, and uh, that should do the magic for you. So I hope you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more interesting stuff. Thank you for watching.